Hello there. Tonight's shave, I'm going to be using my Ever Ready 100 with a 20 millimeter golden nib, finest knot. And the soap tonight is Vanillet's Sandalwood. Now, this soap is sandalwood is one of those scents that there's so many different kinds uh the cologne type of sandalwood uh there's five or six different i mean i think there's more than that i think people just uh kind of go their own way sometimes with sandalwood and call it sandalwood you know uh and then there's the woody kind of natural type scents and this that's what this is very very woody, very earthy, just a wonderful scent. Uh, the razor tonight is going to be my HL Shaw 6.8 Round Point Sheffield Blade. Uh, anyway, like I was saying with the sandalwood, there's there's different kinds, and I like pretty much all of them. The one, of the, one of the criticisms I have with many sandalwoods is there's not enough scent. It's really light. Uh, I don't like that. I like, there are some soaps and stuff. I mean, I can live with it, and there are some soaps that I don't mind the scent if it's light. But sandalwood, lavender... Uh, rose, uh, scents like that, or a bay rum, or something like that, you need to step up and, and, you know, make a scent that's strong enough that I can feel it once I lather it up and put it on my face, you know, this is lovely stuff. Monica's soaps are all wonderful. They have a wonderful slickness and glide to them. The lather's beautiful. Uh, and her scents, they're usually, well, not usually. I've not smelled anything from her that I did not like. I've never run across as far as I can remember, I've tried many of her soaps, and as far as I can remember, I've never ran across a uh, Vanille soap that I did not like to scent out. And the performance is wonderful, particularly if you're like me and you use a straight razor, this, the slickness in these soaps is just lovely now Monica told me oh that's wonderful that this is a lighter sin it's not heavy but it's not so light that you can't smell it that's one of the criticisms that I've had with a razor rock does a sandalwood um, I think it's for sensitive skin or sandalwood neroli or something hold on a minute it's a good scent it's a good scent but there's not enough of it this it, yeah. Sandalwood for sensitive skin. I like this. It's just not, once I lather it, it disappears. And I can't smell it anymore. Just barely, you know, and that bothers me. But now, because I like the sandalwood scent, I want to smell that. You know, uh, Monica said that she used real sandalwood powder in this soap. Now I don't know what that is, but I would assume there's a reason she told me that and that a perfumer would know or, or whatever. You know, frankly, it doesn't really matter. You know, to me, there's a lot of guys that's like with it. Is it essential oil or is it fragrant oils? Well, if I, if I had allergies to 
an essential oil or a fragrance oil, then I might worry. But I've not had very many reactions to soaps, you know, in the time that I have been using uh, them. And so I don't care as long as it smells good. So I'm not up on the difference between those kinds of things. But I trust Monica. Uh, she knows what she's doing when it comes to a scent. And that's just lovely. And one to face. That's about a five. Not bad. Uh, actually, no, that's about a six. Ah, uh, lovely. Love this brush. I was, uh, talking a while back on one of my videos about the uh, Clisson. And you see how that brush fans out when you use painting strokes? Now that's a badger brush. Wonderfully soft. Uh, that's what I look for in a brush because I use a painting stroke. I, I, you know, yes, I want good backbone, but I don't care if it's got a huge amount of backbone. And sometimes a good old floppy badger is the best thing that, you know, I could put to my face. But I want that splay as I, because that's how I lather is with a painting stroke. I want that splay and that thing right there. It's got it in spades. Lovely. Wonderfully slick. Nice glide. And the lather. I love the whiteness, the, the cleanness of the look. It feels really soft on my face. That's why I like Vanillae soaps. There are other soaps that do that as well, and I like them too. Uh, I like that type of lather. But... I also like variety and there's a whole lot of different types of lather, a whole lot of different types of soap and uh, I love using them all but increasingly more and more Just lovely. I'm finding that the artisans that we have in the community are making some fabulous soap. <laughs> and I really would love to uh, be able to sample more of it. Unfortunately, my budget for shaving stuff for this year is gone. I don't have anything left. I can't buy anything else. It's not capable. I'm not able to do it. Uh, winter's coming on. I have repairs to the house that I have put off for shaving stuff and because, uh, once I start doing it, it's going to take a bit. It's going to be an endeavor. <laughs> so, uh, but I have this stuff coming up, and they, that's, I need to get it done. So, but that's all right. I've got 
I've got several vanillae soaps yet to go through. I've got uh, a couple of other soaps to go through. Uh, I have had a, a viewer and a subscriber who wants to remain nameless sent me a really uh, old Wade and Butcher uh, that I am in the process of restoring uh, as best I can. It's going to have some patina left on it. Because with the handwork that I do without a buffer or compounds or any of that kind of stuff, that some of it's just not coming off. But that's all right. I like that. Especially with an older blade, it kind of lets me know where that thing has been. And every time I use it, I look and think back to all the men that shaved with it and just lovely stuff. So. And he knows who he is and thank you very much. But, I will be running out of soap soon, as far as new stuff to show, but that's all right. There's more to a channel than soap. Lovely, lovely, lovely shave. As always with Monica Sub and, and this HL Shaw is a wonderful shaver as well. Nice and sharp, keen, smooth. <laughs> lovely. Alright. Tell you what, gentlemen. I know it'll lengthen the video a little bit, and I don't really need it. I could do a little touch up and, and be done, but I am enjoying the shave so much that I'm just going to do a third pass. That doesn't take that much longer than a bit of touch up does anyway. So. Lovely stuff. And I might in the future play around with a north-south pass, a south-to-north pass, and another north-south pass. The reason being that a north to south and a south to north pass on my face are both cross grain passes.
on 90% of my face. This, this, that's actually against the grain. Which I don't always, I don't need a lot. Uh, usually north to south, south to north, and a bit of touch up does the job for me, and they're, both of them are cross grain passes. So. I'm toying with the idea of just doing another north-south pass if I do a third pass. Just to see the only reason I don't is I've had several people Comment in on well, you do a with the grain and against the grain. Why are you shaving like that kind of deal? Already, which is no big deal. Uh, I don't have a problem answering the question and uh, all that, but. Uh, it's something to think about, you know. Cold water. Or the final rinse. That's a lovely, lovely, lovely shave right there. Eminently smooth. For the aftershave, Stetson's Cooling Moisture. Usually, after a sandalwood, I use Brew because it's got a a high level of sandalwood in it. But I wanted something that was a bit less in your face, and the Stetson works well. All right, that's the shave. If you like sandalwood, I think you'd like that. The sample's cheap to try it out and see if you like it. Good stuff. All right, God bless you. Thank you for joining me on the shave tonight, and I will see you next time.